Hey, Master Gardeners, I'm out along the road. You're going to probably hear some traffic in this, but there's a cool native shrub that bears nuts. I got a quiz question for you. Look here. Here's my little pile of nuts. Do you know which one of these nuts? Well, let's look at the container here. Do you know which one is a native nut? You probably know this one. This is our walnut. That is a native, but there's another native one in the group here. Here's a confusing look-alike with this guy. You probably know this because of the top being real, I don't know what the science term is for that. This is a chestnut, but it's not an American native species. But these other little ones are our native nut. And they're born in this little apron form. Well, let's look at the shrub. It's a lot better looking than my samples here. So here's the shrub. Look at the little pretty little husky, frilly little aprons on these nuts. On this one, look down at this one. There's almost seven nuts on this little frilly cluster. Is that beautiful? Boy, this is worthy of planting in your native plant garden just for these beautiful nuts, watching them develop. Here's your foliage. This is the American hazelnut. And here's the foliage. You can see it's almost five inches in size. If you look at the margins of the leaf, you'll see it's not only toothed, it's actually called double tooth. And it's tooth on top of a tooth, in other words. So double tooth and a kind of a, a thick leathery texture on the foliage and also kind of the edges kind of undulate a little. And look how big it is. This thing must be six to 10 feet tall. And what you can't see is it's probably 10 foot wide because it's along the cornfield. It goes all the way out another five, five feet. So it's a really wide shrub. So Coralus americana is the genus species of this guy. He's just growing along the roadsides, super adaptable. It's really a shrub that's worth you trying in your naturalized garden or your wildlife garden. The one thing is you do get critters attacking it. I'm surprised I've beaten it to the squirrels. They're often invaders. And then a lot of our native birds will attack it. Your blue jay and your uh, some of your woodpeckers will consume them. And you can view on the bottom of the shrub, the deer do like to browse this plant. So you can see where they've made all these stems kind of naked. It's really decorative because in the spring it makes that little catkin. The male portion of the flower is pendulous and very decorative. It precedes the foliage on the plant. So it's pretty little yellow catkins and then those will fall off and they, they pollinate the females which are just down below it. They're actually a little um, like a pinkish color for the females. And then all summer long, they'll develop these little nutlets and you'll harvest them in September, October. And in order to harvest them, you would just collect these pretty little apron things off of the plant and you throw them out on a mat to dry for a couple days. The little husk, let me show you the husk. So we just cut this one open and there's the little nutlet inside and the little husky apron will peel off the outside of it and inside is where the hazelnut is formed. So you probably have had hazelnut coffee and of course it's a flavoring for a lot of people that like to make uh, cookies and things. So there's the husk that peels off. But what an awesome little native that's right, I'm actually right here in the Harford County Extension Office at the Ag Center just down on the roadside. So very adaptable, likes full sun or it can tolerate partial sun, to adaptable to all different kinds of soils. It likes it, likes it well drained but adaptable, easy to grow. It will sucker, so that's one maintenance factor you'd have to take care of is cutting the suckers regularly. They say you gotta get on those. I don't see a whole lot of suckers underneath of this guy. But anyway, a pretty nifty native that I just wanted to share with you before all the squirrels get out here and eat it. <laughs> Look for them on your roadside.